For the longest time, Posoka district has not been able to boast of any councillor or member of parliament from the Salem People's Party, and most of them that contested in the last elections could not secure any position because Potloka district is considered a stronghold for the main opposition APC party, and that is worrisome for supporters of the Salem People's Party. Meanwhile, since 2018, supporters of the party said nothing relating to the SLPP party was popularized to change narrative. Hence, the ASIC Movement Northwest 2023 was formed. According to Secretary General of SLPP in Constituency 075, Felix saying, residents of Potloko District are complaining that a good number of them supported the election of President Bio but have benefited nothing so far. It is in that light that the ASIC Movement was formed to reconcile with the people of Potloko and encourage them to re-elect President Bio in 2023. After tweet, uh, it election expectation of people of Poloko in the SFP, everybody will get a job. But government cannot provide a job for everybody, right? So that grievance was around. And the movement now came around to sanitize the situations. That it is not just President Bill to give everybody a job. He has given job to certain people of this, uh, stakeholders of this land. And these people are now going to you know, divide this job to the grassroots people. Isaac Mumbet came about to sanitize the situations in the way that we got what we call inclusive politics. Regardless of you not having position for the past um, five years, but this time around it's going to be different. However, some supporters of the SLPP were quick to highlight the contribution of the bio-led administration in the district, ranging from building of 124-bed hospital, construction of the first ever girls' secondary school in the district, and most importantly, the Freetown International Airport and many more. Minister of Northwest Region Alaji Alpha Kanu said, As a government official, it was happy for the ASIC movement as it has been championing the affairs of the SLPP and the bio led administration. He pledges continuous support to the movement. And as it coming back into the fold to support the effort of His Excellency the Vice President Jules De Jalo to deliver the Northwest region to President Mara Bio for the 2023 election. It's a very good business for us. We are really happy that he has come and we will work with him. I as resident minister and also as a key stakeholder, I will give every support that is necessary for the ASIC movement. The meeting also gave an opportunity to aggrieved SLPP supporters to vent out their anger and express their expectations. We hope there will be changes in these next elections. Since SLPP aspirants failed to win anything here, we hardly hear of anything concerning the party and we could not benefit anything. We want the SLPP to give Azik the title so he can help us this time around. The supporters of the party vowed to support the Azik movement so as to ensure that President Bio is re-elected in June 24th. SLBC News, Esther Sako reporting.